webmaster Paul from Freshwater Diver. In the next few minutes of video film I'm hoping to convey how remote this area is for diving. The music you hear comes from Konstantin Sampson titled appropriately Under the Rainbow. Thanks for this one Konstantin. This is a very long walk, buds, for the Sandwick dive site. Very grueling. <clears throat> As you can probably see, we're just coming down to the first of the dive sites on this area of Ulls Water. Maximum depth at Sandwick Bay is 34 metres with a gradual descent heading out from the sandy beach and is home reportedly to a large number of eels and on the right hand side we have a rocky outcrop which is of great interest with a good path running along parallel to that rocky face come shoreline. Right along this stretch the rocks continue below the surface 
to a depth of 15 meters in step formation. From where you park to Sandwick Bay at the sandy beach here is about 400 to 500 meters and another 200 meters to the bomber site. Alternatively, for those with a rib, you could launch from the Howtown public slip and out around into Sandwick Bay after four or five minutes planing. Okay, so what's the preferred site here? Well, first I'm going to throw a name at you, and that is Barnes Wallace. And this gentleman was famous for inventing the bouncing bomb that took out the German dams during World War II. And what we have at Sandwick Bay is a Lancaster bomber that carried one such bomb. The bomb itself is now in Hendon RAF Museum in London, but the bomber remained at 30 metres. In 2006-07, there were a lot of stories going about that this bomber had been removed, but there's no evidence for that. What we hear is that a single engine still remains on the lake bed at 30 odd metres. There is a lot of detail about this on my website, Freshwater Diver, so please have a read and do some research on this. We've already performed three more dives in the area and I've still not found the bomber. However, it was a very long time ago when I was at this site last and you'll never forgive me for this I know but I cannot remember where we dived just roughly and yet still no sign of a bomber so good luck to you all. If you cast your mind back to the beginning of this film I showed you the single track road that you have to drive down and hopefully conveyed some of the time taken getting to this site. Equally it takes time getting to the preferred site with a total of 400 meters to walk. It's not exactly easy to do. To get to the site you're actually walking generally downhill but imagine after a dive and you having to come back uphill but it is worth it. To finish this film clip I'm going to show you the road on the way back and some of the spectacular scenery you'll enjoy as you head back home. Thanks for listening. Enjoy this remaining film clip and its music. This is Webmaster Paul for Freshwater Diver, signing off. Bye.